Of course, coming up to you, of course, Claude. Okay, Felipe Bassans, I want you to negotiate. I want I want you to negotiate expenses here. Look who came in. I wanted to wish happy uh, happy holidays. So well, I wasn't expecting to role play, but yeah, I'll, I'll try. Hey, what, what are we talking about? Hey, look, what does that say? Skew <laughs> obfuscation. Love it. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to keep up my says too <laughs> But uh, Felipe, so. Felipe, we want you to fly into our San Diego office next week. I know this is last minute, but I but we know you uh, you're the best uh, Sharpie pen. Uh, your company makes these wonderful pens. We're looking to supply all our thousands of offices with your pens. Could you fly into our office so we could discuss possible biz, possible uh, business going into next year? It'll be a lot of business. Could be millions of dollars. Uh, let me, and, and you mind if I write this down, because this sounds important. So you said that you want me to travel to San Diego out of my own dollar. Is that correct? Well, um, um, uh, it's uh, usually uh, that's, it's not an issue. We uh, we've spoken to two other pen manufacturers, and that's what they're doing. Okay, and they're flying in, and and actually they're gonna go there, meet you at your office to potentially talk about possible business. Is that correct? Yeah, but between you and me, I'm not the decision maker. My boss is who I work for. I we he really loves your pens. He really loves your pens. I think you yeah, got a probably. real. I think you got a really good shot at this. Yeah, and I, I, you know what? I appreciate that, but I don't even know if, uh, if, if we should be even talking right now, Claude. I don't understand. Uh, me neither, because uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to understand here. You want me to fly into San Diego uh, to try to potentially sell you to your boss the pants that he absolutely loves. Which, by the way, I'm, I'm, I'm thank you for that. But um, we have a problem here. Okay, uh, what is it? Because we need you in this. So we're going to make a decision next week. And I already made a decision today. And here's what's going to happen. Uh, we're going to talk to your boss today. And we're going to make a decision whether we're going to move forward or not. And by the way, it's totally no, he okay wants to say you no. In the, he wants, I want off the role play. You're, he, I, I gave you a clue. Nego see if you can negotiate the expenses. Okay, uh, for, okay. So, so, so that's if where I, I'm going with it. Okay, so if I if it sounds correctly, your boss is an old fashioned man that wants to do a firm handshake before even before even signing and, and doing business. And we're talking about a potential deal, of what, two, three million dollars in supplies. Is that correct? At the at the least, at the least, um, at the least. OK. And, and you know what? Oh, my God, I mean, you're putting me in such a position and you want me to fly next week. First week of the year. Yeah, we need you here by next uh, next Monday. When's New Year's, by the way? When is it? Is it it's on? it's this Friday. Um, and but I promised my kids I was gonna take them on a on a ski trip next week, and we have everything reserved, and we have an Airbnb that we we're gonna have to cancel. Oh my God, man, you're putting oh, me in such oh. a position. And and you're boo f and who? And now, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> my God. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm already I, I might have to move some things around dollar sale <laughs> but this sounds it sounds very important uh I'm, I'm already hating myself for even saying this if I can make that happen and be there Monday at nine o'clock in the morning I'm gonna take the red eye from San Diego I mean from Miami to San Diego what's something reasonable and fair than you and your boss can do to cover for my expenses um um, I'll tell I'll 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 make you an off. I'll tell you what. Um, uh, we'll cover. I'll cover your expenses. Uh, we'll cover all your expenses. But if we but if we give you a contract, you eat the expenses. If we don't do the deal with you, I'll I'll go up to twenty five hundred dollars in expenses. Oof, we got a problem. Well, you got a because lot. Of, I, you got a lot yeah, of problems, man. It's Christmas. It's Christmas time. I. Uh, you see, I'm. I'm a boss, not a taxi. I'm not going there to just go and, and sing Kumbaya with you guys. If we're if I'm going to go there, we're going to go there and sign a contract or pick up a check. Those are the two options. Mm. You got a deal. Twenty five hundred. So, Twenty five. Just give us your sheet. Give us your sheet of expenses. Um, if we give you the contract, you eat the you eat the expenses. If we don't pick you, I'll cover you up to twenty five hundred. Fair. It's tough to it's tough to sell to a gut salesperson. So I'm, I'm oh, kind of like running out of ideas. So so, <laughs> so I'm not sure what to do. That's all I want. All I wanted you to do is is this is a rule. It can't hurt to ask. 
He's yes. trying to, he's asking you, he's upsetting your life. He's changing your world, your vacation, your family. He wants you in person in a COVID world, getting on air. You know, I don't know if you guys saw the notification. I think thousands of flights have been canceled because yes. of shortages of airline personnel. Yes. And everything else. Real, like real story. Uh, my daughter had an end of the year presentation uh, the week before Christmas, and there's a huge outbreak in school in Miami. I don't know, Jimmy, you're in Miami, and it's just crazy the amount of new cases. So, so yes, just be is. careful, guys. Be careful. When you're in a position, I we need your. Con we want to give you a million dollar contract. Can you negotiate with someone? I'll tell you what. If we do the deal, I'll eat my expenses. If not, you cover me up to twenty five hundred dollars because I'm changing my schedule. I got to get a flight out there. I got to get a hotel, a rental car. I'm gonna, you know. I, I, I like to occasionally eat, even though I'm an intermittent faster. Um, uh, if you cover me up to this, but if we do the deal, which I, I hope we do, um, I'll eat my expenses. Fair? Yes, sir. That's no? something we can do. Yes, let's your do man, it. Just your, take yes for an answer. You're, you're, I like the way you do business, sir. Thank you. You have a wonderful new year. I'm going to book it right now. I'll be there next Monday at nine o'clock. And you know what? The only thing I ask at the end of the meeting, you tell me yes or no. Fair? That's all. That's all you're gonna get. You're gonna get a yes or a no. My word. Got it, sir. See you on Monday, nine o'clock. Boom. Boom. Can it hurt to ask? That's all I was trying to. I'm sorry if that went a little long. What was the point of that whole negotiation? Reciprocity. Reciprocity. Yeah. Reciprocity. Ask for stuff. Hmm. And and when you get a, I mean, if you give a concession, you always have to ask for something in return. If I'm able to change my schedule and rearrange my plans. Would you take care of my travel expenses? What's the worst thing that can happen? They'll say, no, you know what? We don't do it like that over here. Okay. I What's mean, the then, then you decide. What's the hurt? Here's the rule. I don't know if I can find the card here. Oh, it's, it's, one of, it's my favorite card. I don't know. I've got too many. I've got about 200 cards here. This is gonna take too long. Sales is dangerous. Sales is so dangerous. What do I mean by that? Help me. What does that mean? Sales is dangerous. Is it dangerous to our ego or, you know, to the rejection, the asking people for something and maybe getting totally hung up on or something? How dangerous is sales? Very dangerous. Very dangerous. <laughs> It's dangerous. It can assault our. How come so many? We know sales is the is the highest paid profession in the world. Successful people are great persuaders, great influencers. Okay, we know this, but it's also we all we also know that it's a very high turnover field for a lot of people, isn't it? Mm. Why is the turnover so high? Let's pick a field: uh, life insurance, auto sales, uh, telemarketers. The turnover is tremendous in these in these areas why no guarantee and stressful and rejection yeah. very high what happens if we can control our emotions if we can sell in a different way being like a doctor asking questions getting the prospect more emotional developing that adult to adult relationship what happens when we can can we close people in one phone call you better believe it Mm -hmm. Yes. And I'm talking about a million dollar deal. Can you, you can get a commitment, you can get an appointment, or you can close them in one phone call. If you understand the psychology, the ego state of them and yourself, sales is dangerous, but God, is it worth it? Mm -hmm. You can have the best life. You, you know, getting on the phone and talking to a few quality prospects every day and having a good proper, a pros, a pro, a a uh, product or service to sell. I know most of you in real estate. How different do you sound on the phone as compared to your competition? Do people like you or people reject you all day long and you take it personal? How important is it to be a persuader, to be an influencer and to, be, and to, and to get people to like and trust you in a few short moments? Whew. Is that a secret superpower going into 2022? Mm -hmm. you better yeah. believe it last question and we got to go it's uh, oh it's two minutes after the hour here what did we learn today who learned anything today <clears throat> who learned nothing i did i did what did you what did you learn give me one thing you learned reciprocity 
You better believe it. Reciprocity, negotiation, ask for everything, expect nothing, and have the guts to see what happens. And sooner or later, someone's going to say, I like that person. They're straight. They're different. They're original. I want to do business with them. And guess, and guess what's going to happen? You're going to have, uh, what did David Skolnick say? It's the third best feeling in the world. 